First, though, breaking at noon, Orlando police have released body camera video of a deadly shooting during a traffic stop. An officer shot and killed the 26-year-old who was in a car near Jefferson Street and Orange Avenue. Glad you're with us. I'm Justin Warman. I'm Bridget Ellison. The family of Derek Diaz has been calling for the release of the video since the shooting July 3rd. News 6's Lauren Cervantes is live from Orlando Police Headquarters with the latest. Lauren. After nine days and calls from Diaz's family as well as attorneys, Orlando police are releasing the body cam video of the shooting. It's from three different angles from three different officers. The angle we're going to show you is from the officer who opened fire, who Orlando police have identified as Jose Velez this morning. And we want to warn you because what you're going to watch you may find disturbing. Roughly the first minute of the officer's video on July 3rd has no audio, but shows him and two other officers on their bicycles riding near the area of Robinson and Orange. About one minute in, audio is engaged. Hey, turn off the car. Turn it off. And you begin to see the moments yeah, the officers confronted right Derek Diaz okay, as hand, he sat in his car. Now, give me that. Give me the other one and put your hands on the steering wheel right now. Don't move. Put your hands on the steering wheel. Put your hands on the steering wheel. Instantly after the shooting, the officer backs away. Moments later, Diaz is pulled out of the car and the officer who opened fire began doing chest compressions. You can hear what appears to be Diaz moaning as this is happening. Diaz would be pronounced dead later that day. Put your hands on the steering wheel. Put your hands on the steering wheel. Police previously told us Diaz was shot after disobeying the officer's commands and making a move as if to retrieve a gun. At approximately 1.52 a.m. But Chief Eric Smith told News 6 the morning of the shooting that a gun was never found. Police also released to us an edited version and posted it on social media. That clip contains what police say shows Diaz tossing an object out of the window after being shot. Police say that item was later found to be narcotics but did not specify what exactly it is. Officer Velez has been with the Orlando Police Department for three years. We have requested his personnel file. FDLE is still investigating this shooting. And I spoke with Diaz's family this morning after they watched the video. They're holding a press conference this afternoon at 1 o'clock, and we will be there, and we will bring that to you live on ClickOrlando.com. For now, in Orlando, I'm Lauren Cervantes, getting results, News 6.